Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you, which is our fifth video in the series in regard to configurations, design tables, and equations. All these elements help us drive a part model in regard to creating different parts within a part. As I explained what configurations are, they're kind of like parts within a part. They're parts that have a shared geometry that uh, may have uh, variations in uh, certain elements of the part. You can create a, a bunch of different parts within a part by creating configurations and design tables help drive those configurations uh, and as I'm about ready to show you these equations can drive those things too. So what we'd like to do as we make this model bigger just for the fun of it because this real model really has no realism with anything out in the real world that I've ever seen I just you know, kind of made it up and go ahead and make fun of me for that if you like. But um, what we want to do is we want to take these bosses and holes and fillets that are associated with this feature over here and populate it at regular intervals along the length of the shaft. So what we have here is a single element, but what we could do is create a linear pattern of this, of these three elements, of these three features, and uh, yeah, and drive that with an equation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our feature manager and let's go ahead and add a linear pattern. So we're going to go to linear pattern, pick a direction, which is going to be that arrow, and we can change that direction back and forth if we like. Or we can go up here and change it back and forth this way. And we're going to pick 100 millimeters because that's the distance between our first uh, instance and the second one. So we're going to pick 100 there. And uh, so it's going to be 100 millimeter distance, and we're going to do two initially, then we're going to pick our features. So it's going to be initially the hole, uh, the mid hole boss, the mid hole, and the mid hole fillet. So all three things are going to get copied. Go to green check mark, now we have our second instance. We're going to use an equation to drive this more. So this actually works not so much with the 200 millimeter one. Oh, it uh, hates us. So yeah, it's giving us problems uh, with a 300 millimeter one. It's okay, gives us two. 400 millimeter one, we're kind of missing one. 500, we're missing two. 600, we're missing uh, three. It looks like so. Let's go ahead and make an equation to help derive this. So let's go back to our feature manager. And the way you find it is under Tools, not Insert, but it's under Tools. Scroll down to Equations, and let's go ahead and uh, talk about this before we add an equation. So what we want, what we want to do actually, and if we go back to the configuration that's uh, maybe the 400 one or the 300 one, let's do the 300 one. Go to cancel here for just a moment so we can see a little bit more clearly what we're going to be doing. If we go to the 300 one, and again back down to tools, equations, let's go ahead and add an equation. What it's looking for here is a value. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the value of our linear pattern, and if you look at this really close, there's a couple of different dimensions that are associated with that. We have our two up here. Let's close this out just so we can manipulate that a little bit. We're going to move that two out a little bit because it's kind of hiding in the brush over there. Now let's move that hundred out here too for that distance because we're going to use both of those. So if we go to add, double click on linear pattern, we're going to make this value two equal to if you think of that as just being a variable like X or a Y or a Z or something like that, we're going to make that a variable for now. And what it's saying up here is it's dimension 1 and linear pattern 1. We're going to that make that equal to the total length of this. And it's blue, uh, purple or magenta up here because it's being driven by a design table. And of course it gives us a, a warning for that. Changing this property will update the corresponding cell on the design table the next time it's edited in SolidWorks. But we're not going to change it, we're just going to use that. We're going to use that value. So we're going to use that 300, and we're going to make that 300 minus this value. If you double click it out, we're going to make it minus the value of the linear pattern divided by that value of the linear pattern. Now that's under the assumption, that's under the assumption that this 100 value is always going to be equal to that value over here, which is going to be the value of this one of our original feature. Let's make sure we put brackets around this just like you would in Excel to make sure our additive uh, sections of that equation are going to uh, um, be considered first before the division as aspect of it. And if you go to OK, you can see that that der derivation is going to be 2. So let's go to OK and see what happens when we go to some of our other configurations. So if it's 400, you would, would anticipate 
three of them. 500, 4, 600, 5. And isn't that a silly part? Looks like an industrial flute or something. But anyways, it does show uh, how a, an equation works. And one last thing I want to show you, there, there is a little problem with the 200 millimeter dimension. It hates us, and it's not going to allow us to rebuild it, but uh, I'm going to show you a way around that in our last video, which is coming up next.